Hi, this is Tweek. I came up with a design for a beaded hummingbird. I'll show you how to make it. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are You'll need glass beads, three different sizes. I ordered mine online and I'm using four, six, and eight millimeter glass beads. You'll need some beading wire, some pliers, a wire cutters, and some odds and end beads, including a couple of earring findings. So let's make this little hummingbird. I came up with this design for hummingbirds because I want to make another sun catcher where the hummingbirds will be hanging from it. So I'm going to make quite a few of them and I'm playing around with different colors. This one was my attempt at the ruby throated hummingbird. It turned out pretty nicely. And I'm going to be going for a more simple design today. And it's glass beads of three different sizes. I ordered these beads online and it was quite a find because not only did the bead pack come with 10 different colors of beads, all glass, but the sizes I need to make this bird were in that pack, a four millimeter, six millimeter, and eight millimeter bead. The larger bead makes the body, the six millimeter bead makes the head, the four millimeter beads make the wings and the tail. So let me show you how I started that. We need to make two cluster balls. I was lucky to find these beads online. They're glass beads and they came in three sizes. The pack came in 10 colors of beads. They all come pre-packaged, which is really nice. It comes in the eight millimeter size, the six millimeter size, and the tiny little four millimeter size. And I need all those to create the bird. It works out really wonderfully. So let's start out first by making the main body, which is a cluster ball. I will need 30 beads to make the full cluster. And here's my little guide here. So I will line up five, these eight millimeter beads, four, so it's a five and a four, three, three, two. Now the pack, I need to open up another. So we've got another three here, and a two, and a two, and a two, and a one. Now because I'm making a hummingbird, or attempting to, I want to add a little more color. And when I start him out, I'm going to start out with a different color than that blue. So to keep myself on track, oh look at that one, wasn't all polished. I'm going to pull these five back, and I'm going to start out with these five, it's like a, a beigey pink, almost like a peach color. That'll be in the, the center of the bird. So we've got five, the same combination, only I dipped through in a different color bead there. So let's start making it. Get some wire. This whole project is beads and wire and a few extra findings from jewelry, jewelry backs to be exact. We've got our piece of wire. I'm going to take the full five beads here and string them on. So we come down. I'm trying to pull to the center of the wire, but we'll adjust that. And you throw the wire back through the last bead on that line of five, and you come with a little pentagon. Now I'm going to make sure my wires are as even as I can make them putts with the beads a little bit so that the ends come out pretty even. I'd like them to be as even as possible. So I'm just going to play with the beads until that happens. Let's see. Okay, close enough. So we have a left side and a right side. You will always follow the same pattern. Grab your beads, you string them on the right side. pattern of four on this, this segment here is a four. Okay, they meet up with the five that are there. You bring the left side wire around and you come into that last bead and you end up making a connection. It's two pentagons, but you see it might throw you a little bit because the color's different. 
So you just gotta stay with the pattern. Okay, now we've got, I'm putting, there's a little bit of a concave in the beads and I always try to put that facing me and there's a right and a left side. So we're just gonna go down the list here and add them on the right side. Let them meet. Bring the left side over into that last bead. So I'm gonna finish up this cluster ball. Speed. I'm going to come around. Each time you string the beads, you're setting up a series of five, like you did in the first round. So there's four beads there between the two ends, and you're going to add the last bead, which will make a five, and we'll also close off the cluster ball. It's, it almost seems like magic because it doesn't seem right until there it is. I'm going to skim around the top just to add some strength. I'm trying to get the two wires to meet up. When that happens, you can add a couple of knots. And if you want to make it extra tight, which I always do, I bring in my pliers, give a nice torque, and I snip this and save back this wire because we can use it. We've got our first cluster ball done, and that is going to be the bottom of the bird or the body of his bird, and the bird in his belly is going to be that color. So I need to make one more cluster ball, the same pattern, with a little bit of that peachy toned bead in there, but that'll be the next size down. That was an eight millimeter, this is a six millimeter bead. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So we've got our next cluster ball set up, 30 beads all in a row in the proper combination, only I changed up a little bit of the color. It's the only thing differently. We're going to string them the same way, starting with the first five. Only want to make sure, for the sake of what the bird's face is going to look like, I want to go white or clear beads, then a couple of these tanny, peachy, pinky ones, and then another. And watch what happens when I pull these together into the pentagon. Bring that left side over to the last bead, pull through, and just a little bit different. And I use that in the positioning of the bird when I go ahead and make his face. Let's make sure these two ends are even. Ooh, pretty good one that time. Just a little bit off. Okay, good. And let's get started. Follow the combination. Bead on the right side, pull through the left side, and here we go. So there's our little birdie head. Now let me just finish off like I always do. Just skim around the top just to add more strength to the cluster ball. And snip. Get right up as close as I can. Save back the wire and that's going to be his beady little birdie head. So I've got the main belly of the bird, the body, and the head that's going to go on top. And to get those together, I have to be mindful of that 
that's the belly. This is the face. I want them to line up properly. I'll just make sure I keep that in mind. In the meantime, let's add eyes and a beak to this birdie. Let's do the eyes first. Take a piece of this wire that I had. More than enough. Let's see, is there a longer one? Okay, we'll run with this one. So these three beads, colored beads, are going to be at the top, and his eyes are going to be on either side. See, there's a little hole. I'm going to show you if I just poke through. That's where his eyes are going to go. Okay? And his beak's going to go through that center hole there. So let's get his eyes. I like these black beads I've got here. I believe these are also four millimeter beads, but I want these to kind of tuck in to the sides of his head. And I'm going to find a spot. Here's a bead that's just off the eye socket. See that? So I'm going to string through there. I'm going to add the eye bead. I can see it. There we go. And it's going to lay in that socket. And I'm going to come through this bead up here. I guess it doesn't matter as long as it goes through. You see how the eye just lands in there just so nicely? And now this one's ready for the other eyeball. And now I'm going to follow the line over to this bead here. And after I attach those, that's what you've got by way of his eyes. Okay, so I'm going to pull a little bit more of the, the wire through so I can have a little more to work with here. There we go. Simple, simple, simple to put the eyes in. Now, I don't want to do anything but to get these two wires near to each other so that I can make a knot. Those two are next to each other, nice and tight. Put a knot and then snip it as close as I can get it. Okay, now I want to make sure that's really tight. Snip that off. And now you can see why we set up the beads the way we did. His face is going to be just a little more interesting to the eyeballs. Now his beak. The beak is, is pretty neat because I'm going to do his beak. It's going to go through his body and do his tail all with one big piece of wire. And I want his head to be just a little bit because he's flying. You could really position it any way you want, but I'm going to angle it just a little bit up so you get the colors in the same plane there and a little bit of variation on that. So let's show you how I did the beak. Now I need a big long piece of wire. I'm going to go for a couple feet here. This table is four feet wide. I don't know that I need that much, but I definitely need close. Because like I said, I'm going to go through the body, make the tail, and I want enough wire that I can do as many tail feathers as I'd like to. Here's what we do for the beak. I found these really neat tube beads. And these happen to be gold. Let's get another one. And I'm going to line them up to make the hummingbird's beak. I, thought I like the length of that. And to put at the end of that, I start out with a little gold bead. Let's see. I've got some littler ones here. So it's a gold bead at the end. And then at this end, don't laugh, this is an old earring back from a pair of earrings. And I thought, well, how neat that is the base of his beak. And it fits very nicely into where his beak goes. So for the first thing we do here is we take on one wire, we push this gold bead on and let it go all the way to the center. Now we're gonna string with both wires through these long gated bead. And I'm gonna come all the way down and get as close to that gold bead as I can. I really push it up tight. This uh, bead also has a little bit of a marking in it. So if it's a little bit off and not straight, it, the way the light hits, it kind of throws you. So I didn't mind that. This is a bead cap, old timey. And we're gonna go in the front end of it. Now this might take a little bit of doing, but there is room for the two pieces of wire. So I'm going to go in with one wire first and just push and then let the other one follow. It's such a little piece of jewelry finding, but boy, I just really like the effect of it. 
So now I'm going to bring this down to meet up with the beak. Who would have thought that an old piece of jewelry backing would make such a perfect hummingbird beak? So I think it is. So now we're going to attach this to his face. And we're going to go straight through the hole underneath his eyes where the beads of color are there. And I think because this might pull through that spot, I'm going to add another little bead. Let's make it a peach. So uh, this bead is going to get strung on here. Okay, and now when we push it through his head, I'm going straight out the back. See? Now it just doesn't that look like the best little hummingbird peak? <laughs> old jewelry. I love old jewelry. What do you think? Like that? So let's continue. This long piece of wire is going to go through his body, but to help keep it tight and in that space, I'm going to use another one of these six millimeter blue beads. I use the four millimeter. The tiniest ones are the wing and the tail. So the head is all the six millimeter. So we've got a little bit of a, a back of his head. It's holding everything taut. And now I'm going to take him and push straight through. Before I do that, let me make sure that's his belly and I want to line his head up like that. So I want his head to go in the space right above those five color beads. Right, that next space up is where I'm aiming for. You're going to go straight through the bead. Get both wires in there. You can do one at a time if you want. Okay, I'll do it one at a time. Got one these two through. He's going to be flying. That little bead that I put in the back of his head is going to help hold him in place and give him a little bit of an angle on his head, which you can actually manipulate around a little bit if you wish to. So there's where we are now. And now we're going to set him down. And we've got a left side and right side here. And let's start working on his tail feathers. I'm going to first start by adding one of the same size beads, eight millimeters. And this is kind of like the end of his tail, right there. And now you can see everybody's in alignment. That's how I want it to look. So when I tighten it up for sure, I know everything's in place. And now I'm just going to, whatever I do on one side for the tail, I'm gonna do on the other. I'm going to do a series of these little beads. These are the little guys. A four millimeter. I loved this bead set because it gave me all the beads I needed in all the right sizes to make this bird. Okay, so I'm going to go nine beads on each side. So let's just string them on there. Nine four millimeter blue beads. I think hummingbirds have shorter tails. So I don't want to make it a real elaborate long tail. Um, in fact, I'm thinking that might be a little bit long. But what I'm going to do is add crimping beads and fold this back. And this is my way of making the tail have some point and bend to it. I'm going to put a crimping bead on here after those nine. I'm going to pull tight to make sure this birdie is all in the place I want him to be. And he does look like he is. I want that bead steady in the cluster. I want these guys tight. So I'll take this first wire, grab my pliers, get your pliers set on that crimping bead, and pull tight and crimp. You can see already now his body, I've added that crimping bead, everything's staying together. That's good. Now because I want to add a bit of a bend there, like the tip of his wing, I'm gonna add another crimping bead. And this one, do the same thing. I'm gonna let it meet. I'm gonna try to get it right next to it, just a tiny bit of wire between them so they're not totally buddying up. And I'm gonna give a little squeeze because I'd like for this to be in the center of the wire. So give it a look-see and give it a nice hard squeeze. 
And what you end up with is the wing will have that edge because it'll bend down. See? That's just my way of making it. The tip of the wing. So we've got nine coming around and I'm going to do nine coming back. It's on the wing where I add a little bit of a difference. This will be one of his tail feathers. And whatever we do on this side wire, we will do to the other. So I've got the nine beads on there. Now I'm going to take this wire and come back through the main tail bead. So I'm just going to push through and it slides right in. And I'm going to try to aim for it to come out on either side of the body. Let's see where it is. I see it in there. It's coming out here. That's good. I'm just going to pull taut because all this extra wire here, this is going to help me make his wings. So we've got a nice one feather there. Everything's taut in good shape, so let's just repeat on this side. Nine beads up, two crimping beads, nine beads back, and then we'll try to push the wire through the other side so we have our wings ready to go. So here we go. So we have our tail feathers in and I want a wire on either side. So I'm going to take this wire here and just push it through this main bead here. So now I've got a wire on either side of that main bead. That's where I'm going to attach the wings. Let's make sure we got everything's tight. I haven't had any more crimpings or knots. And that's what we've got so far. All right, wings. I've got that center bead. There's the head. And a wing is going to come out on either side. So now decide how long do you want your wings. Now I actually go with 11. But I'm going to stick um, before I go. You know how there's a little more muscle close to the body where the wing attaches. So I'm going to use one of these 6 millimeter beads and just let it sit there. Okay, and then I'll do the same on the other side. So that's where his wings will come out. Now go ahead and decide how long you want them to be. Okay, Hummers, you have wings that look like there's a million of them. You move them so fast. But I'm going to go with, I think it was 11 on the top part of the wing and then 9 coming down. So you have a little bit of a curvature and 11. Okay. I want the wings to be a little bit longer than the tail feathers. Okay. I'm, I'm liking that. So here again, I'm going to take the crimping beads and do the same thing as I did on the tail. So take a crimp bead, put it on the wire, let it rest next to the beads, get ready to crimp. Pull tightly as you do and crimp. Repeat. You want these guys to be near to each other. I think they bend better when there's a little bit, little bit of a space there. So I let it come up near. Get a little squeeze so I can get it lined up on the wire. I'd like it to be in the center if I can get it there. Okay, nice tight crimp. Now because we have 11 beads going up the top of the wing, I want a little less coming back so there's a bit of a curve there. So I'll go for 9 beads on the bottom. push them back in to this area here. See, you're going to have a little bit of a arch on the top. So I'm going to come down and find my space. I'm going to come, I think, underneath that big bead that's next to where the shoulder is. I call it the shoulder. And then if you pinch it, pinch those beads down, what do you think? Is that a good wing? I like it, so I'm going to leave it. So we came in 
out at the shoulder and we came in under there. Now you could pick a different bead and angle the wings differently. So this is what I'm doing here today. All right, 11 beads on the top, here we go. We got the 11 beads on there, now it's time to crimp. Grab the bead, pull on the wire to make it taut. Okay, second bead's on there. I'm going to grab it, give it a little bit of a squeeze so I can position it, and then get it next to, but not on top of the other crimp bead, and then give it a nice squeeze. And that will be a nice point for the feather, good. So we had 11 on the top, nine on the bottom. Almost done with this party. Okay, I came in and that bead there on the other side. So if I mimic that, push through there. Where are you? Come on. There it is. Get your nose, get your little beak out of the way. Now this birdie. I like his wings, but I don't like the positioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to come back a little bit on his body. Oh, see, I like that way better. See the difference? But it's all up to you how you want your bird to look. So I'm going to pull this wing back and I'm going to find that same spot on this side, which was this bead. It's going to come out of his head somewhere. <laughs> oh, and look at how much better that is. Just see how much better that is. You give a little bit of a crimp to those two crimping beads. And oh my gosh, boy, isn't he pretty. Now, this stuff hanging out here, this is just a matter of winding it back. So I'm going to, this wire all just disappears. So on this side, I'm just going to wind back. And what I think I want to do is try to use this to make his hanger. close to where I want to be with this birdie. Yes. Now, I did mess him up a little bit, so just reposition his little head, reposition his little beak. <laughs> okay, birdie, we're done putzing with you. I'm trying to pull those wires in there, and I'm just going to put another crimp bead at the top. Both wires through. I'm not sure how much of a hanger I want. I'll just decide as I go here. Give a crimp. I like the angle that his body's hanging at. I like that. He's kind of coming up. Coming up to get a blossom. Give this a snip. What do you think? We have ourselves another hummingbird. He's going to look so nice on my sun catcher. Isn't he pretty? So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks of Tweak is coming along. Until then, get your beads. Oh my goodness, look at some of these pretty little guys I've made. They're going to hang on my sun catcher. I can't wait to put that together. You can do it. You can make these beautiful little guys all for yourself. <laughs> See you again. Mm -hmm.